Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Peacock Inside Tech, and Motorola has been launching phones left and right lately from foldable phones to new flagship phones to budget friendly phones like this Motorola G8 Power Lite. But is this budget friendly phone any good? Let's find out. Oh, and by the way, you're going to want to stay tuned until the end of the video because I have a little surprise. I want to start by saying that budget phones are really getting good nowadays. The build of this GA Lite may be made of plastic, but it has a nice weight at 200 grams and it's just 9.2 millimeters thick and it feels solid in the hand. I really like this royal blue color gradient on the backside with a matte finish and the Moto M logo in the middle of the fingerprint scanner is also a nice little touch. And speaking of that scanner, it made me miss how practical and fast it was to have a rear facing fingerprint scanner. The G8 Power Lite even has three cameras on the back like the more expensive flagships with a 16 megapixel main lens, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel lens just for measuring depth. More on the cameras later. The only thing out of place on this otherwise sleek backside is the speaker grill. I wish it was on the bottom, but yeah. On the front it has a 6.5 inch 720p display and it looks okay. It's an IPS LCD panel, so the colors aren't as vibrant like on a higher end OLED display that you might see, but the colors are decent. Consuming content on this display is also pretty decent because of the small teardrop cutout for the camera on the front and the good viewing angles. It also has a decent sized chin on the bottom, but once again, this is a budget phone. On the bottom, there's a micro USB charging port and a microphone. On the right side, there's a power button and a volume rocker, and they feel pretty solid, really clicky buttons. And on the top, you get that really rare headphone jack. And on the left side, there's a SIM tray. The G8 Power Lite's performance is nothing to get excited about with this low-end MediaTek processor, but it gets the job done. On the plus side, with that less power-hungry processor and the low-resolution display, gives you phenomenal battery life. The G8 Power Lite comes with a huge 5000 milliamp battery. To put that in perspective, that's the same size as the battery on my Galaxy S20 Ultra. With light to moderate use, I was getting around two days of battery life with this phone. I like that Motorola kept the software close to stock Android with the Google Discovery shade to the left and the material design icons and menus. It does only come with Android 9 Pie out of the box, which is a bummer, but once again, this is a phone that costs less than a pair of Bluetooth headphones, so you can't expect to have the latest software. Another cool thing is that the Motorola gestures that I've loved for years are here on the G8 Power Lite as well, like the chop to turn on the flashlight or the screwdriver twist to activate the camera. Such small, simple features that make the phone experience so much more fun. And speaking of the camera or cameras, they perform pretty well for a budget phone. I was surprised to be honest. The 16 megapixel main camera can shoot some detailed shots and the dynamic range is not so bad. What is surprisingly really good is portrait mode. The images come out sharp and with good edge detection and a natural looking bokeh effect. I guess this is in part thanks to that extra two megapixel depth sensing lens. And keep in mind, I'm used to taking pictures with my Google Pixel 4 and my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So not bad, Motorola. It also has a macro lens for those cool close-up shots, and you can get pretty close to your object, but the image quality is just okay. I mean, it's only a two megapixel sensor, so you can't print out high quality posters, but for some fun, cool shots just to post on Instagram, it's adequate. As for video, it can record up to 1080p, but the quality isn't very good. The focus hunts a lot while you're recording and the colors are muted. It will work if you're in a pinch to record a short clip, but that's about it. And with that being said, I will be giving away my Motorola G8 Power Lite, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and tag two friends in the post about this giveaway on Instagram. And that's it. As long as you have an address, I'll ship it to anywhere in the world. And yeah, so good luck and thanks for watching my video.